Hi, everybody, and welcome to TensorFlow Meets. In this episode, I'm chatting with Hao Han Wang. Thank you for having me here. Who's been doing some really, really cool work with neuroscience and TensorFlow and machine learning and all kinds of cool stuff, and even a new course. So you've been working on Diet Ex Machina, uh, which is a, a beautiful name for a, what looks like a beautiful site. Could you tell us all about it? Sure. So I will start from the name Diet Ex Machina. Diet means two as one, which okay. is me and my partner, Christian Fanley. And, um, machine. and Christian's going to be on a future show, which is great. So. Yes. Yep. So machine things we constantly work with machine, and we're at the intersection of deep learning okay. and effective computing. So as for why we started Diet X Machina, I think the story really starts four to five years ago okay. when we first met. So I was a student in finance, and he was working in human behavior area, and we started to collaborate. Okay. I, because we both share the same strong interest in machine learning. Right. So one of the first machine learning projects that we worked together is to create the trading algorithms. Okay. Well, so Christian challenged us to think outside the box instead of using the traditional uh, technical or fundamental analysis right. into your algorithm. Why can't we add some human behavioral elements like emotions into your algorithm? Okay. Well, so we end up including sentiment into our algorithm. And surprisingly, sentiment is a great trading, a very indicative trading signals. I can see that because I'm sure when some people are buying, then everybody jumps on board. And when some people are selling, yeah. everybody, you know, that kind of, there's Early a lot signal. of sentiment. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, so after that, I think it really brought emotion into our attention. Okay. And then we started to study um, a lot more into this field, effective neuroscience especially. Okay. And we read numerous books in the field. And I think we started to notice a problem, which is how society at large tends to ignore how important emotion is, especially okay. like in our daily decision-making process, because people tend to overvalue cognition and uh, rationality okay. over emotion. Interesting. Yeah. So I think, well, that's really the starting point that we think probably is our job. It's <sighs> diet ex machina's job okay. to bring this effective layer back into people's daily life. So, so you saw an opportunity to bring emotion into what are traditionally logical decisions. Yep. Okay. There's um, where di diet ex machina started. Good. Yeah. Interesting. And now a lot of the work that you've been doing and a lot of the learning that you've been doing, you're turning into a course now, right? Yes. So, yeah. So start from there, actually. Well, the here is where deep learning and TensorFlow came in. Okay. So we were studying machine learning, and uh, but um, then we discovered deep learning. Okay. So I think um, so. Here is also the point that we hit the point that we cannot make more much any more progress because we're both working full time and we dedicate <laughs> all our free time on reading. Those day jobs just books. get in the way, don't they? <laughs> yep. Um, trying to understand uh, machine learning and effective computing. Mm -hmm. So I think we had a discussion and made a hard decision. I will took one year off, fully focus, um, focus fully on deep learning and effective computing. Okay. So here, you can think of this course, and we end up making this course because this course is really the synthesis of our learning. Okay. Because we really dedicate a lot of time and effort on learning deep learning. And we think um, this course will be a great start for people who are new to deep learning to get started. But more importantly, I think our main focus is to help people who um, wants to use deep learning to the field that they are passionate about. Right to be able to get started. So your course is about uh, applied deep learning with TensorFlow and cloud AI. Yes. There's a lot in there. Yeah. So what kind of content do you have? Well, so this is our very first course. And uh, we're a little bit ambitious trying to put everything in there. But the course is really meant to help, the, help people who are new to machine learning mm -hmm. to be able to build their first deep learning model and to take it all the way to uh, deploy their model as production level API. Okay. Then we move on to talk about the basics of deep learning okay. and how to design and experiment with uh, some typical neural networks using Keras. Keras, yep. Yep. And then we move on, we dove deep into TensorFlow. Um, we start from low level TensorFlow, we introduce the, the concept like data flow graph mm -hmm. and the TensorBoard. Then we move on to high level TensorFlow. Um, then 
help people to build a model in the cloud, train the model, evaluate the model, and eventually deploy their model as a production level API. Mm -hmm. So the deployment part is really fascinating to me because there's lots of great material out there about training models and maybe doing a little bit of a test, but yeah. making it real world, making it applied uh, yeah, is, is really cool. Yeah, that's our whole intention, help people to apply it to the field they're interested in. Nice, and we'll put a link to the course in the comments below. So uh, you've, you've, been start, you've started with neuroscience and then you've moved into taking a year off and creating a course and you've obviously gotten very deep into machine learning and you've gotten very deep into neuroscience and the intersection between the two of them. What advice would you give to people who are just starting out? Well, yes. So uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about connected back to our learning experience of okay. a journey of deep learning and um, possible a little bit about effective neuroscience. Okay. So I think we also summarize this four P's of learning that I'd like to share here. The four P's of learning. Well, okay. yeah. So, I'll try to remember them myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we published article on our website, okay. so people can check, ah, check so it we out. So a link for that, so I don't need to remember it. Yeah, you don't have to remember it. <laughs> Great. So the first P, papers, papers and books. Okay. Well, I think it's really the foundation because um, by we, we make sure we read papers and books every single day. Okay. And we got up for 30 a.m. The first the task is to read paper. Wow. Yeah, deep learning papers. Okay. So at the beginning, we read some more like basic deep learning paper to know what is trendy in the field, how people solve problems with deep learning. Then we move on to be more specific about our domain, how people use deep learning to solve um, like neuroscience problems, okay. effective neuroscience problems. So 4.30 a.m. for the first P? I yep. think you've lost me already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 4.30. Just kidding. <laughs> so papers and the, what was Paper the second and P? The books. And uh, books, well, yeah. papers and books. Second P is practice. Practice, okay. Yeah, so I think practice is very important, especially like, um, I think I'm very passionate about like, every day I will use TensorFlow to build some neural networks, start from the basic neural networks and uh, did, uh, understand like data flow graph right, and right. to like I'm very interested interested in using TensorFlow to visualize my training okay. and, and uh, evaluating results and how to tune my models like hyperparameters. So I think then practice and you can find those problems very easily on uh, Kaggle and right. Crowd AI. Yep, yep. So the third P, which we th I think personally is very helpful for my learning, which is preach. Preach. Yeah, okay. you can think of lecturing or teaching. Okay. So every day, um, I will give a Christian a mini lecture about what I learned during the day about <laughs> deep learning, some theories, or even your network I built that day. So I think it's mutually beneficial. Help me to consolidate my knowledge mm -hmm. and help him to. Uh, have an overview about what I learned and also making some progress yeah, from, Excellent. Yeah, from his side. Uh, cool. Well, last P, I think, we think is really helping us to get where we are right now is passion. Yeah, They're definitely passion. Yeah, so, well, first, we, like, like I mentioned, we saw this great potential of deep learning and the TensorFlow that mm -hmm. you can leverage to really bring the transformative change into, your, into the domain because because it's new technology and regularly in the past, at least based on our study about the effective neuroscience, mm -hmm. no one has ever leveraged this technology to build any algorithm yet. Okay. So we set out to make that happen. So bringing emotion into algorithms. Yes. It sounds fascinating. So, so you, you've, you started this journey you know, as you were doing financial trading stuff and then yep. you did, t took a look at emotions in that. You know, from out of that has grown Diadex Machina, yeah. and now you have a course, you have your daily four Ps that you're doing. It's like <laughs> there's a lot of amazing stuff there. So, so what's next for Hao Han? Um, yeah, so next for me and Diadex Machina is we're right now still working on doing, running experiments every day and doing research in the affective computing area. We're trying to put things together to be able to eventually present to the, share with the community. Mm. So we, have, we will be working on this part of, part of the study. Um, what's more, it's another thing about the course. Okay. We are um, planning to make a new course and uh, oh, we wow. plan to deliver the course by the end of this year or the beginning of next year. The course will be called Effective Computing okay. and Deep Learning Using TensorFlow. 
effective computing and deep learning using TensorFlow. Yes. I look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> so in this course, we will be teaching um, people how to use TensorFlow and a Google Cloud Machine Learning Engine to stream in your psychophysiological signals okay. over time and to process your signals. And eventually, the algorithm um, should be able to make a real-time prediction about your affective state. OK, yeah. excellent. So your course on effective computing, it's going to be coming out pretty soon, maybe the end of this year or sometime early next year. And maybe after the course comes on, we'll have you on again to talk about it. Yes, I would love to. <laughs> so we'll look forward to it. So thanks so much, Hao Han. And thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of TensorFlow Meets. If you have any questions for me, if you have any questions for Hao Han, please just leave them in the comments below. And whatever you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.